in this video we have been given that abc is an equilateral triangle and fe is perpendicular on ac and ed is perpendicular on bc and bf is 1 cd is 2 and bd is x then we have to find x so in any triangle abc if it is equilateral triangle then ab it will be equal to ac it will be equal to bc and these angles they will be 60 degrees so here these angles they will be 60 degrees and now in triangle ECD it is E C D this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 60 degrees and C D is 2 so cos 60 degrees it will be C D over C E and cos 60 degrees it is 1 over 2 it is equal to C D is 2 over C E so C E it will be 2 times 2 that will be 4 C E it will be 4 we get C E is 4 and Now, in triangle AEF, it is A, E, F, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees. So, cos 60 degrees, it will be base that is AE over hypotenuse that is AF and cos 60 degrees, it is 1 over 2, it is equal to AE over AF that means if AE is A, then AF, it will be 2A. If AE is A, then AF, it will be 2A. We get if AE is A, then AF, it will be 2A. And Now, we know that ABC, it is equilateral triangle 
that means a b it will be equal to a c it will be equal to b c so we have a b is equal to a c and a b it is a f plus b f it is equal to a c it is a e plus c e and a f is 2 a plus b f is 1 it is equal to a e is a plus c e is 4 and 2 a minus a it will be 4 minus 1 and it is a is equal to 3 we get a is 3 and now we have ac is equal to bc and ac is ae plus ce it is equal to bc is bd plus cd and ae is a plus ce is 4 it is equal to bd is x plus cd is 2 and a it is 3 plus 4 it is x plus 2 and 7 it is x plus 2 so x it will be 7 minus 2 so x it will be 5 we get x is 5 